San Diego's mayoral election is less than a week away. Voters will be heading to the polls on Tuesday, February 11th. I'll be speaking with both candidates in the home stretch of this campaign, starting with City Councilman Kevin Faulkner tonight and later this week with David Alvarez. Kevin Faulkner, good to see you again. Hey, thanks for having me back. You got it. Now, both you and your opponents support some of the same key uh, city issues, but you don't necessarily agree on how to achieve these similar goals. I'd like to find out specifics about uh, how you differ Differentiate, differentiate yourself on these major issues. And starting up front, David Alvarez supports an infrastructure megabond on the ballot. You've said you support infrastructure improvements, uh, but you don't support this bond. What is your plan yeah. for paying for the yeah. estimated two to three billion dollars in overdue infrastructure yeah. repairs? I have a very detailed five-year plan. It talks about continuing the commitment that we've made as a council. Have infrastructure bonds every five years, over $120 million. In addition, cash funding as well. And specifically what I'm talking about when we talk about infrastructure bonds, it's doing the neighborhood repairs that the city should have been doing uh, for years and years that didn't do it because of the financial crisis that, that this city faced. So I'm specifically talking about paving 500 miles of road. And anybody that drives around the streets of San Diego knows the condition of our roads. Talk about making sure you know, our, our city facilities, our parks, our libraries, our rec centers are top notch, building new fire stations. I'm going to bring my five year, five, you know, the five year plan and the experience that I have to make sure that we're doing the right thing and spending our dollars wisely and making sure that we're getting caught up in our neighborhoods. And that funding, just to be clear, would come from smaller bonds, just not this major bond. Yeah, it, because what we need to be doing is that we're actually making the repairs that make sense. We have the capacity and we're keeping up. I'm not interested in having San Diegans send a bunch of new money to City Hall. I want City Hall to do a better job with the money that hardworking San Diegans are, are already sending. Um, I think we have some real opportunities to get back on track if we have a mayor that's going to continue to support the financial reforms that I have pension reform and others that allow us to, oh. to actually invest in our neighborhoods. Let me move forward to the uh, minimum wage. Uh, considering the high cost of living, that some yeah. minimum wage people here are eligible for food stamps, uh, how would you address that issue? I understand you're not for a minimum yeah. wage increase. The, support, the proposal that was outlined in the president raising the federal minimum wage, that's the right approach, and I support it. And I think it brings consistency and level playing field to all. And that's what we need. We don't want to have San Diego be different than necessarily neighboring cities. Because what we're trying to do is attract good quality jobs. And as somebody who's been a strong advocate and supporter of small businesses and giving those businesses the opportunity to succeed and making sure that we're hiring good San Diegans in those jobs, that's what I'm going to do. Because our good economy is so incredibly important to our ability to provide neighborhood services. And let's continue with the cost of living. The San Diego Housing Federation said that during the last uh, eight years, affordable housing has not kept up with the demand, but you oppose the affordable housing linkage fees approved by the council. Uh, what would you do as mayor to increase the availability yeah. or building of affordable yeah. housing? I strongly oppose that jobs tax, which would have raised fees by 500 percent mainly on so many small businesses that are struggling. That's the wrong approach. And I've been a champion for affordable housing since I've been on the city council. And in fact, part of my plan calls for increasing our production of affordable housing. Going back to the state that stopped our redevelopment program, that we relied on those tax increment dollars to build much of that affordable housing that I strongly supported in my own council district. I also talk about creating economic opportunity zones, providing incentives, shortening the amount of time it takes to build affordable housing, I think that's the right approach, and that's one that I'm going to strongly support. So what would you do to invest in other neighborhoods outside of downtown, these economic yeah. zones? That's the whole opportunity that we have right now as a city. When I talk about my one San Diego plan, it's about talking about putting our emphasis on those neighborhoods that need the extra help, providing incentives and timing and processing, bringing in private capital for neighborhood improvements in some of these community projects that have been long stalled. And I think that's where my experience will come into play as somebody who's been able to cut through the bureaucracy since I've been at City Hall to really benefit all of our neighborhoods. I need to ask you about this. Yesterday, a group of protesters said they delivered 6,000 signatures and asked the Lincoln Club for an apology for a mailer that they say depicted David Alvarez using subtle racial tactic, tactics. The Lincoln Club supports you. What do you think of that uh, mailer? You know, I think it was an unflattering picture of my opponent, just as there's been many unflattering pictures of me in the mailbox throughout San Diego. Um, and I'm not focused on what those independent groups are doing, and I can't be. What, what I'm going to be focused on is our strong vision of moving this city forward. I'm not surprised you see things in the last week of a campaign. Um, 
but I, I'm really optimistic about finishing this election strong on a very positive message, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. In a sentence, how would you sum up what separates you from David Alvarez? Experience um, and commitment to financial reforms. Uh, San Diegans have seen how that's benefited our city and our neighborhoods, and as mayor, I will never allow the city to go back and repeat those financial mistakes of the past. All right, City Councilman and mayoral candidate Kevin Faulkner, thank you so and much for talking with us. Great to see you. Thanks for having me.